Today I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT in Google Sheet. We are going to use the OpenAI API in order to uh, get answers from ChatGPT. I found a great free way uh, how we can do so. It's uh, by using an add-on, so basically a plugin to uh, Google Sheet. I've used many different plugins that didn't work so well, but this one is totally free and it works like a charm. So stay tuned, watch the whole video, and I'm going to show you each step that is necessary. But let's get started with a simple example so you can see what you can do with this uh, plugin. So we can simply write equal sign GPT and then uh, uh, open up the bracket and we have we then have the um, quotation mark and we can just write uh, what we would like to get from the API so we're going to use this example and I want to have a short bio of US president so just gonna use equal sign write GPT in capitals open up the brackets and then you can see the different prompts and every um, the different parameters this uh, formula is accepting so the prompt is write a short bio short short bio and then uh, the great thing is like um, the second parameter is a value so we can reference to values in different cells and columns i'm just going to reference here to column c and then i close the bar um, bracket and as you can see it's now uh, loading within a couple of seconds i will have a short bio of john f kennedy let's just wait for a couple of seconds perfect 35th president of the united states and now i can just drag and drop this down and you will see I will also get a, a bio for George W. Bush and Barack Obama. Maybe I should say if it's the first or the second uh, George Bush, but anyway. So this is amazing. And now I'm going to show you each step that is necessary so you can install this uh, add-on to your Google Sheet. All right, so the first thing that we need is we need to have an API uh, key. And we get this API key from um, ChatGPT from OpenAI. Uh, which is the company. All right, so I just need to get into Don. Okay. The first uh, thing you have to do is you have to create an, an account. So as I already have an account, I can just simply log in. But we go and sign up here, and I'm going to log in with my Google email address. I hope, and that's gonna work. Let's see, yeah. No. All right, uh, already have an account, so I can just go on login uh, right here. I'm gonna use my email address right here continue now it asks for my password see all right it's loading so now i'm in my open ai uh, account and where i need to go to is view api key uh, if you um, don't have this uh, account you first have to sign up uh, with your company or private name and you need to add a payment uh, method because each API call that you are going to make is going to cost you, of course, but it's uh, really affordable. So no worries with that. And you can here create a new secret key. And what you need to save is here your secret key because this is the one that you are going to use for the plugin to work. All right. I already have just going to make a copy and you need really need to make sure that you keep this private because no one should be able to use your API key. All right. So now I'm back. And what you are going to do in order to install the extension is you go on extension, then you click on add ons, uh, you go on to get add ons, and then you simply are looking for chat GPT for chat GPT for sheets and docs, I think it's called exactly chat GPT um, or GPT for Google Sheets and Docs. And this is the, um, the add on that you are going to install, you just click on it. And then you can go on install, like I have admin install because I'm an admin, but you could just simply go on individual install and uh, click on that. So after you've done that, you will see uh, that it's installed and you can uninstall it. But um, now the next step uh, would be that you are going to um, look for it in the extension. You should have it here under extensions and then you have GPT for Sheets and Docs. So the first thing you need to do is here you go on Set API and this is where you paste your API key and you then uh, save it. And then the next step you need to do is you need to uh, enable the GPT functions. That's important. Uh, some people forget that. But otherwise it won't work. So uh, after you've uh, saved the uh, key, you go here on enable GPT function. Once you've done that, you can use uh, these uh, GPT uh, prompt uh, that you uh, see here. There's many different prompts that you can use and uh, you can um, then use the um, 
ChatGPT in uh, Google Sheets. So I've already showed you an example with a prompt and value. You can also set the temperature, so that's the level of creativity. It's between zero and one. If you have zero, zero it's not very uh, creative. It gives an, a simple, straightforward uh, answer that is uh, very similar if you do it uh, multiple times. If you're going closer to uh, one, uh, you will get a highly creative uh, answer. So I usually um, use between 0 0.7 and 1 as the uh, temperature, which uh, gives you a uh, great unique uh, result. Then max tokens. Uh, this is another parameter you can set like how many tokens uh, you will get as a maximum. So this is a value between 0 and 4000 for the um, ChatGPT uh, 3.5 um, uh, model because there's different models and they have a uh, different um, number of tokens. So tokens basically is almost the equivalent uh, to a word. If I um, enter 1000, like I will get a max of 1000 characters or words. Um, no, not characters. I will get a max of 1000 words uh, back. Then the models, uh, you can define what model you would like to uh, use. Um, the uh, default here for this plugin is chat uh, GPT uh, 3.5. So this is uh, the uh, turbo mode. It's one of the uh, cheapest uh, models, which is uh, absolutely fantastic and works great. I would suggest you uh, to use that because it costs, I think per uh, 1000 tokens, it costs 0 0.002 uh, cents, something like that. So it's really, really cheap. All right. And then you just write your formula and as I've showed you in the beginning, you now have a fully functioning chat GPT within uh, Google Sheets, which is fantastic. I hope this uh, video was uh, helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much and see you again soon. Goodbye. Bye bye.